Is everything okay with you? Well, I mean, we're all feeling the strain since JR's illness. And now, this Damon situation adds a whole new level on the home front. Plus, I am walking on eggshells around Liza. Why? I just get these major vibes that she feels threatened by me. <laughs> Is there any reason she should be? No. No. Angie, God, no. No. And, and Opal warned me to watch out for her. She gets jealous. But I'm telling you, I have done nothing to make her jealous. Well, Liza doesn't always need a reason. I mean, you should have seen her when we were in high school with Greg and, and Opal's daughter, Jenny. Well, that was high school. I mean, come on. She is a strong and confident woman Mature, now. Mature, professional. Yeah. And if you cross her, you better be ready to go to the mat. Your son? I'm sorry, I, th I thought you didn't see Hillary since the, she broke up with you years ago. Except for one night, about 19 years ago. Oh, Dad, I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine what you're going through right now. Listen, does anybody else know? Yeah, Angie. Yeah. Jesse. Mm -hmm. Crystal. So you told her. Oh, look, OK. Please, do me a favor. Not <laughs> oh, now. Oh, Liza, don't make this about something that's not, okay? I would have liked to have known. I would like to have been there for you. Is that wrong? No. No, it's not wrong. Of course it's not wrong. But it's not about you. It's not about you and me. It's not even about me and Crystal. Mm. It's about that kid. He screwed up enough. He has a hard enough time trusting anybody as it is. Mm. I can't possibly let him know the truth until I talk with his mother. Now, you've made that impossible. You understand? I understand. Honey, do me a favor, okay? Please, don't do anything else. Don't breathe a word of this to Damon or to anybody, okay? Of course. I, I just need a little time, okay? Mm. Just a little time to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do next. So do you mind? No, oh, no. Call me if you need anything. lunch today. No way. Way. I was really stoked to hear how Bailey and Stewart were doing. Yeah, listen, they're fine. Uh, I'll reschedule and uh, I'll catch you up then. Sorry, I have a business meeting. I gotta go. You okay? Yeah. No, I'm not. That was your mom. We we're supposed to meet up for lunch today. What happened? She just got back from Ohio. She was going to tell me how Bailey and Stuart were doing, but she just, she just canceled. Well, it must have been something important. Business. She was going to take pictures. I wanted one picture of my son. Could have got myself if I wasn't stuck in this dump of a hospital. This all sucks. You seem to have made yourself at home in a hurry. People need to eat, Annie. I'm having breakfast. And reading Adam's newspaper? Well, he's not down yet, so I didn't think he'd object to my getting a jump on the day. Hmm. I uh, wouldn't have thought of you as a morning person. I would have thought of you as more of a breakfast in bed type of person. Well, you would have been wrong. Uh, actually, I wanted to get down today before Adam. Oh? And why's that? I'm just determined to make sure that Adam stays healthy. You know, he's his own worst enemy, and I'm worried about him. Like I'm not worried about him? I had a talk with Lucretia today, so from now on, she's only making ultra-healthy breakfasts, egg white omelets, granola, non-fat milk. Well, Adam loves bacon with his eggs, and he likes pancakes with uh, Vermont maple syrup. He special orders it from... We also cleared out the liquor cabinet because I know how easily he's tempted. Well, you are certainly changing a lot of things around here, aren't you? I want to help Adam any way I can. And, you know, he is giving me a place to stay, so uh, it's the least I can do. Yeah. 
I'll bet it is. Zach didn't tell you that he had the casino up for sale? No, he did. I'm just fairly sure that both he and Kendall are going to be quite surprised that you are the buyer. Uh, I couldn't resist. I always liked being the house. Well, congratulations in that case. And I understand that Greenlee has already booked the casino for a photo shoot. Yeah, now she has a venue for the shoot, and uh, this place gets the publicity that it needs. She's trying to the details of my shoot out of you, isn't she? It's been a little bit of a tough year financially. Mm -hmm. for Hello, Erica. Afraid I'm already ahead of the game? Actually, Greenlee, I was just sitting here thinking of all the potential the casino has for an ad campaign. So well done, Greenlee. Don't pull that condescending tone with me. You just called Brian to find out what my ad campaign was about. Greenlee, you told me that you were going for the natural look. You just keep your nose out of my side of the business. Is that clear? And if I find any of your little minions poking around here, I swear so help me, I will tear the little head. Excitable little thing, your daughter. Can I have the phone, please? Give it back to me. Thanks. Is it worth it, really? I mean, you know, the stress, the anger, all of it. No. You're right. It isn't. When I finally pull all of her little manicured little claws out of my company and boot her out for good, that's when it'll be worth it.